हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वी आर डिस्कसिंग लीव एंड कैशमेंट अंडर टैक्स फ्री इनकम्स अंडर दैट वी आर सॉल्विंग प्रॉब्लम्स इन दिस सेशन लेट अस सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम सी द प्रॉब्लम मिस्टर नवीन रिटायर्ड फ्रॉम सर्विस ऑन 31st अक्टूबर 2019 आफ्टर सर्विंग फॉर 30 इयर्स 8 मंथ्स एंड 10 डेज and received rupees 2 lakh as gratuity and rupees 1 lakh 80,000 as leave and cashment. His last drawn basic was rupees 11,500 and DA at 20% of basic. The annual increment of rupees 500 was due on 1st August every year. He received commission at 1% of turnover of rupees 15 lakhs for last 10 months. He had 8 months earned leave to his credit. Compute taxable gratuity and leave encashment. He is not covered under payment of gratuity act of 1972. So this is the problem where you have to calculate taxable gratuity and taxable leave encashment. Let us uh, go through this problem once again. Mr. Naveen retired from service on 31st October 2019 after serving for 30 years, 8 months and 10 uh, days. Here, Mr. Naveen uh, is not covered under the payment of gratuity act. So, fraction of the years you have to ignore to calculate taxable gratuity. That means you have to consider only 30 years of service to calculate the exempted amount of gratuity. Remember that point, 30 years only, you have to ignore 8 months and 10 days. Why? Because he is not covered under the payment of gratuity act. Next C and received rupees 2 lakh as gratuity, that is the actual amount received and 180000 as leave encashment from these amounts you have to deduct exempted amounts to get taxable amount of gratuity or leave encashment these are the actual amount received by him as gratuity as well as as leave encashment next see his last drawn basic was 11,500 and DA at 20% of basic. When you go through this uh, problem, you are not uh, receiving the point. Uh, DA is considered as retirement benefit. That means you should not consider DA as retirement benefit and to calculate the average salary of Mr. Navid. Because in the problem, they are not mentioning it is a retirement benefit. That is why you should not consider DA for the calculation of his average salary. That is a average salary for calculation of gratuity as well as leave encashment. Next to see. The annual increment of rupees 500 was due on 1st August every year. He is uh, retiring on the date 31st October and annual increment was due uh, on 1st August every year and his last drawn salary that is uh, 11,500 is given. That means uh, this 11,500 is previous month's salary. That means this 11,500 is including the increment. For calculation of 10 months average salary, you have to consider 11,500 for 3 months. That is uh, August, September and October. And without increment, you have to consider for 7 months for the calculation of 10 months average salary. You know this calculation, we solved many problems relating to this. And next C, he received commission at 1% of turnover of 15 lakhs for last 10 months. If they give commission on turnover, you have to consider this amount for the calculation of average salary of uh, the SSC because 
it is compulsory to take into consideration the commission on turnover if they given in the problem that is why 1% of 15 lakhs amounts to 15,000 no need to convert it into 10 months because they already mentioned that this 15 lakh is for 10 months that you have to consider next to see he had 8 months earned leave to his credit this information is useful to calculate amount of salary for approved period of leave okay eight months is his credit of leave next you have to calculate taxable gratuity and leave encashment he is not covered under the payment of gratuity act let us solve this problem if they give as he is not covered under payment of gratuity act you should not consider a last drawn salary you have to consider 10 months average salary that you know and for the calculation of leave and cashment also you have to consider 10 months average salary see the calculation here salary without increment for 7 months because increment is due on 1st August that means August, September and October for uh, 3 months with increment 11,500 he is receiving and without increment he is receiving 11,000 that is for 7 months that amounts to 77,000 and salary with increment for 3 months that is 11,500 into 3 that amounts to 34,500 total of these amounts to 1,11,500 to this you have to add commission on turnover 15 lakhs that is 1% on 15 lakhs that amounts to 15,000 and 10 months average salary amounts to rupees 1,26,500 rupees and DA will not be considered uh, for calculation of average salary because it is not included in retirement benefit. Let us calculate taxable leave encashment and taxable gratuity. You know the rules. Go through that notes once again before solving this. See, computation of taxable leave encashment three columns you have to draw particulars and two amount columns uh, from actual amount received on encashment of leave uh, you have to deduct least of four things that is actual amount of leave encashment received or 10 months salary or amount of salary for approved period of leave or statutory limit of three lakhs in this problem Amount received on encashment is 1,80,000. Uh, here, read this pro problem carefully. 2 lakh is the gratuity and 1,80,000 is the leave encashment. So, 1,80,000. From that, you have to deduct exempt under section 10, subsection 10 AA, least of the following. Actual amount of leave encashment received 1,80,000. 10 months salary you calculated that is 1,26,500 and amount of salary for approved period of leave there you calculated 10 months average salary but uh, for the calculation of amount of salary for approved period of leave you need 1 month average salary of 10 months salary that you have to calculate by dividing the 10 months average salary from uh, 10 months that is 1,26,500 divided by 10 that amounts to 12,650 multiplied by 8 months because his credit is 8 months that amounts to rupees 1,1200 rupees and statutory limit 3 lakhs least of the following you have to consider that is amount of salary for approved period of leave in this problem when you deduct this 1,1200 from actual amount of leave encashment received you get 78,800 as taxable earned leave so this is the answer for your 
problem that is taxable earned leave 78,800. Next another thing you have to calculate in this problem is taxable gratuity and you have to consider not covered under the payment of gratuity act. See amount of gratuity received 2 lakh from that you have to uh, deduct least of the following under se section 10 subsection 10 first one actual amount received 2 lakh or 15 days salary for each year of completed service that is 12,650 uh, of average salary of one month into 1 by 2 because 15 days salary you are calculating that is why 1 by 2 for number of completed years of service here fraction of years you have to ignore if they mention it as a covered under payment of gratuity act you have to consider fraction of the years if that fraction of years exceeds six months in this problem no need to consider that one so that amounts to 1,89,750 or statutory limit of 20 lakhs both covered and not covered under payment of gratuity act the statutory limit is 20 lakhs from this assessment year in the previous problem only i explained that thing okay here again i am telling statutory limit is 20 lakhs even though they are not covered by the payment of gratuity act remember this point and make corrections in your previous problems relating to computation of taxable gratuity okay see least of the following you have to consider 15 days salary is the least uh, so when you deduct 1 lakh 89,000 uh, 750 from 2 lakh you get taxable gratuity as uh, 10,250 okay this is the calculation of taxable gratuity so this is the problem relating to encashment of leave and uh, let us so stop this session here and uh, let us meet in the next session thank you